hey guys welcome back to my channel and i hope you guys are doing great so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial after ages and i have shown in this video that how you can get a waterproof makeup in this monsoon season and as well as this wedding guest makeup look so please keep on watching your makeup long lasting and waterproof it's very necessary that you do your proper skin care so i'm going to first apply this biotic serum all over my face then i'm going for a lightweight moisturizer this is from lotus harbor this is their cream based gel moisturizer this is very lightweight and very soft on the skin and it's very very perfect for the oily to combination skin and it's very good in this kind of humid weather it will not looks like greasy or oily moisturizer now i'm going to apply this biotic bio seaweed eye gel to reduce my puffiness a little bit so that it looks very very nice in the makeup next step is applying some ice cube which will make your makeup long lasting as well as waterproof i'm just taking the ice cube on a plastic or a normal polythene and I'm going to press the ice cube in all over my face now I'm not going to apply the ice cube directly on my face so that it would not cause any direct coolness to my face and rather I'm going for a plastic it will help my makeup to last for a long period of time also it will give me a very nice oil free base for the makeup application which I really really want now for the next step I am going to apply a oil free primer and that is the NYX Cosmetics Total Control Drop Primer. I even use it for my brides because it's very very nice and lightweight liquid texture which actually blends very properly doesn't give any white cast or anything and gives a very very smooth base for the foundation application. So I'm going to blend it really well and after that I'm going for again with the pressing of the ice cube so that it locks the primer in the face. It actually minimizes my pores and make it very very smooth. So for the foundation I'm going with the same NYX Cosmetics Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm in the shade 14.5 which is cinnamon and this is a perfect match for my skin tone as you can see. This foundation comes in 20 different shades and it gives you sheer to medium coverage. You can definitely control the coverage of your foundation by putting small drops and as well as like large amount of the drops and as you can see it gives a very flawless base and next i'm going with nyx cosmetics hd liquid concealer this is a photo focus concealer and that is why it never gives any flashback i'm going for as usual places like my highlighted area under my eyes cupid's bow chain nose bridge and a little bit on the eyelid so that i can use this as my eyeshadow base and i'm going with a makeup sponge to blend everything out smoothly and flawlessly so now it's time to set everything in place and for that I'm going for the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio Loose Finishing Powder. This is a white powder which is actually doesn't give any color or anything. It makes your makeup like a airbrush finish as you can see and I'm going with like sort of baking my face and also I'm correcting my jawline with the same pressed powder. After one minute I'm just dusting it off and I have done a full review of about this powder if you didn't check it out just click on the i button the video will be right there so after dusting off everything from my face i'm going with this sugar cosmetics contour the force face palette going with this contour blush and as well as the highlighter shade for my face as you can see this is a very warm tone contour perfect for my skin as well as every dark skin out there it gives you very nice flawless contour look and the blush is also very pigmented and pretty it gives you a subtle flesh of color to your cheeks and i really love this kind of blush 
so next i'm going with this wet and wild bronzer to warm up my face a little bit going top of the contour as well as my forehead my jawline to structure my face a little bit and as well as i'm contouring my nose and for the final step i'm going with the highlighter from the sugar palette and applying it in my as usual areas like highest point cheekbones cupid's bow nose bridge etc now move on to eyeshadow i'm going with the morphe x jaclyn hill palette taking the brown shade i'm going to apply it in my crease this is the armed and gorgeous palette i'm just little by little blending the product so that you can blend the intensity you have to take always less product and blend it properly so next going with this chocolate brown shade from the same palette and I'm going to apply it to my outer corner to give my eyes some depth and definition and also I am blending it out with the crease shade so that it looks blendable and there is no harsh line left over. Putting the same crease shades in my lower lash line to give a flesh of color to my lower lash line. Next going with this golden gorgeous shade for my eyelid. I have just wet my brush with some fix plus and I am just doing a soft cut crease with the brush itself. I didn't apply any concealer or anything and I am just putting the color on my eyelid area. After that taking this white shade which is a shimmery white shade and I'm going to highlight my inner corner of the eyes as well as my brow bone area so that it looks little bit lifted and highlighted. For the next step I am going with the Nika I am bold kajal it's the absolute black kajal I have ever seen and I'm going to tight line my waterline and applying it in the half of my waterline not the full and next I'm going to extend it by smudging it with a smudger brush to the inner corner. So after that I'm going with the Swiss Beauty liquid eyeshadow i have already swatched all the shades and with a small pencil brush i'm just uh, going to outline my crease area and cutting my crease with this liquid glitter shadow so that it looks absolutely stunning i'm going with the sugar cosmetics born to wing gel liner which is a matte gel liner to outline my upper waterline as well as my upper lash line and created a very small wing and then curled my lashes with the forever 21 color then going with the wet and wild mascara applied few coats on my upper lashes as well as my lower lashes it is a very volumizing and lengthening mascara and i really love it when it comes to any occasion or any party it gives a very nice look going with the pack 518c false lash as you can see it's very natural and very beautiful finally for my lipstick i am going with gerard cosmetics glitter lipstick in the shade cupid this shade is bomb.com you guys you can check the gerard cosmetics website use my coupon code devadrita beauty for 30 percent off and this is the kind of makeup look i came across after that i have also gone for a lip gloss you will see in a bit this is the gerard cosmetics lip gloss and the shade is very pretty packaging is absolute gorgeous and here is the final look So this is the look which I have came across with. This is absolutely very pretty, very gorgeous. You can pair any kind of Indian outfit, Indian jewelry with this look. You can twist it up and change the lip color according to your preference. I think this would look absolutely beautiful in any kind of Indian occasion. Also some Indian festivals are coming over. So you can put this look in your Rakhi as well as in the upcoming Eid and Durga Pujo as well and i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and you can use this trick to make your makeup long lasting if you guys like it make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up don't forget to share this video with your loved ones and also if you 
didn't even subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already press the bell button beside the subscribe button so that you never miss out any of my future videos like this video comment down below and yes i will see you guys super duper soon with a brand new video until next time this is devadrita signing off for the day and lots of love love you guys so much bye take care